Hello everybody, it's your favorite crazy haired girl, Allie. For real, if anybody has long curly hair tips, please send them my way because I am sick of this mane, but I love it. It is touching my butt and it is crazy at all times. Anyway, welcome if you're new. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Allie and this is the tea which comes served right to your inbox every single Thursday. You don't have to go looking for any info. You just get a little bit of little bit of knowledge, a little bit of loving in your inbox from me. Um, so sometimes it's piercing related, sometimes it's tattoo related, sometimes it's just life. But today it's piercing related kind of. It's about lobes. Um, in the last week I was doing a lot of research um, for like a separate project and got super, super interested in why people stretch their lobes, how big you can stretch your lobes. So it's pretty crazy y'all. First of all, you can stretch a whole bunch of other stuff other than your lobes. You can stretch pretty much anything you desire as long as there's room to do it. Um, and as long as you work with a piercer who is properly trained in more, <clears throat> excuse me, like drastic techniques. Um, I wouldn't say drastic necessarily because I don't think stretching your septum to a 14 gauge is drastic, but uh, some of the really cool things I've seen are where people wear these more stacked rings, but they actually get like punches out of their ear and fill them. There's all sorts of crazy stuff. But for lobes, there's a few different options. You can have them punched out, ow. I mean, any mod hurts, but I don't wanna think about doing that. Um, and you can taper um, or tape or do all sorts of other stretching methods uh, that take time. So there's a few different options there. I've been stretching my ears since I was like 21 probably. I'm at three quarters now, which is 19 millimeters. I am wearing uh, 16 slash maybe 17 millimeter plugs right now just because I have uh, been wearing these stacks and I like to give my lobe a little bit of room. But what you wear and how you wear it is really up to you as long as you're not injuring your earlobe. Um, signs of redness are not great. Obviously, if you're tugging on your ear and you just recently stretched, it's gonna be red, but you don't want that dry, chapped look. Um, and you don't want any skin where it looks like it's injured. You shouldn't be hurting yourself stretching is the big thing here. You shouldn't be hurting yourself. Um, it should be a gradual process. I know it's so hard. Uh, stretching is not for people with no patience because you definitely need it. Um, and if you've been learning for some, looking for something to help you teach yourself patience, I highly suggest stretching your lobes. With that being said, how big can you stretch them? There is a guy right now, he lives in the United States. Uh, I think his name was Monty, Monty Pierce. I think that's literally his name. Um, and he holds the current Guinness Book of World Records for his lobes. He has a five inch lobe and a four inch lobe. So that's pretty crazy. Um, my goal was an inch <laughs> um, and that fluctuates from time to time. I've been pretty stuck slash chilling at three quarters. Um, which I'm fine with currently since I have so much jewelry. So I hope that info helped. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you all next week. Bye.